there. We are here today to show you how to build the kayak. Um, we're going to get a lot of tips out of the way, a lot of things that you need to know about putting it together just to make it a little bit easier for you. And our goal today is to get it looking like this. So it's basically put together in two halves. You can see two sections right here. We want to get it together looking like this and then we'll put the rest of it together and wrap it in a week or so. So we'll walk you through the, how to get all the parts separated and uh, get to that point. The first step though is to dump your bag out and separate the pieces into different sections. So let's do that right now. Okay, the next part here, now that we've got this uh, recorded and separated, I'm going to show you around the parts. There's a couple things we need to point out to, to you. There's probably a couple pieces that you're missing. If so, feel free to come over to my house. Let me know. You can text me or just come to my house and we can get you some. We have some extra parts here. So let me show you and walk you through this. First of all, what we've done is we've separated everything out that's gonna go. Every piece that we need for the kayak is here separated out. We have all these top pieces right here along the top, it's hard to see, but from that far end, running all the way down through the cockpit and up to the other point right there, that's the D section. So the D sections right here, we have D1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This little guy right here, you probably have one of these in your bag. It's not marked. It should be about two and a half to two and three quarter inches long. This is D5. So if you see this and think it's just an extra piece or, or not part of it, this is actually uh, an, an important part. Goes right there. So that's D5. So if you want to if you want to mark that, just know that that's D5. Okay. Next part here is the bottom section. So all these pieces along that bottom part of it, all the way down, that's the K section. I'm not a boat person, but my instruction said keel, so I assume keel means bottom, but I could be wrong. Okay, so we have Ks, so K1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one right here probably has, you probably have one that looks like K5 and a scratch out in 7. Just know that that's a K7. So we had some extras, we miscut a couple of them, so, or mislabeled a couple of them, so we, we switched that to K7. Next is the Ls, and by the way, the Ds, and the K's, you only need one per section on, okay? Everything else you need two of. So we have the L's right here. There is no L, um, it's supposed to be an L1. Okay, so it starts with L2, so, so you may have two L2's in there, so disregard that, we've got an extra L2. No, oh, we need two L2's though. Okay, so we have two L2's. L3s, 4s, 5s, 6s, 7s, 8s, 9s. The L6s are slightly curved. You'll notice it's it's bent just a little bit. Um, that's for this section right here. It kind of curves around uh, and bends the kayak back towards the back. Okay, so there's, there's the Ls. The C, C stands for cockpit. There should be six cockpit pieces. CB for, C, for cockpit back. CM for cockpit middle. And CF for cockpit front. Very creative, I know. Thank you very much. Okay, and then we have all the rib pieces. So RB is rib bottom, and RT is rib top. There should be seven of each, or seven total. So you have um, one, you have twos, threes, fours, fives, sixes, and seven. So there's two RB, numbers and two RT numbers. So these ribs are the ribs on the top and ribs on the bottom. Let me show you one thing real quick about the ribs, especially on the front, the RB one and the RT one. Uh, you'll notice the RT ones, they fit right there. They should line up just fine. However, the bottom ribs, 
might not line up. This one might be close. Okay, but some of them could be angled down like this or like this. For some reason, the the ribs, uh, this the first one and the seventh one down at the other end weren't bent quite right. So I'll show you a little trick here in a minute about how to fix that. Um, so what we're gonna do first and next is we're gonna put together the top section, the D section, and the K section all the way along the back, okay? That takes care of the ribs. The next section here, the next part, are the joints. Okay, so you have all these joints. You should have 24 cross joints. Those ones you should have two 90 degree angle joints. You should have four of these threaded T joints. We actually don't need those, so those will be left over. Those will be extras. You have two 45 degree ang angle joints. And I believe there's 18, is there 18 here? I think there's 18 of the T joints, okay? Last part here is the bow and the stern. Um, this piece right here, it looks like it says B5, but it's actually BS. That goes right here on the front, like that, and on the back on that other side, okay? Um, and then all the X ones, a couple of them may be mislabeled. They say XBL, X. FL, whatever, there's a couple of them that might have got mislabeled. Not a big deal. Just know that these ones form the cross inside here that give it support. So, wherever they fit, whatever fits best for you, it doesn't really matter. But it just forms that, that cross there that gives it the support. Okay, you should have eight of those. Okay, we're going to start by putting the... the we're gonna start by putting the top section together, the D, and the bottom section together, the, the, uh, the K, and then we'll go to that point. Okay, here we are. So we got these pieces done. We'll walk through it so you see what joints we used. Uh, here's the D, the top part. So you got the D1 connected with a 90 degree, and then you have a D2 with a cross. Section between D3, D2 and D3 is a T pointing down. Section between D3 and D4 is a cross. And then you have a T at the start of the cockpit after D4. That one has, uh, this is CF for cockpit front with two T shapes. And then you have another uh, section, the CM, which is the cockpit middle with the T shape on the end of those. And then the CB for the cockpit back with the end on those. Now, these ones that aren't, uh, that are bent, some of them have a longer side than others. And you may want to just take note of this. Uh, pause the video if you want to see so you can compare it. But it should, um, it should when you're putting it together, not look like it's going to line up. It should be pretty far in there, but you can stretch this out and actually uh, connect it. The PVC pipe is pretty flexible. Um, see if I can do this with one hand here. Uh, anyways, it connects in there um, to hold that together. So it should be fine uh, going out. Okay, then you got a T-shape with the tiny C, uh, D5. Then you have a cross going into D6, another cross going into D7. Then you have a T-shape going into D8, and then a cross at the end of D8 going into D9, and then you have another 45 degree, or excuse me, another 90 degree angle at the end. Okay, on the bottom part, the K, this is what you've got. Starting at K1, you have the 45 degree pipe. K1 goes to a cross. K2 goes to a T. K3 goes to a cross. K4 goes to a cross. K5 goes to a cross etc etc down till after k8 you have a t k9 you have a cross at the end of k10 you have a 45 degree okay um we're going to put the next section together but before we do that i want to talk to you about one thing because on this pipe right here and you'll have some of these mostly on the r pieces that when we bent them because the angle was so tight you couldn't quite fit the pieces together. So do you have one? Yeah. Try and fit that together. I can't do it with one hand. So it doesn't fit in. The end of it got warped, got bent, 
whatever it doesn't okay that one fits well you'll have some that don't fit so what we do on those kobe come pull this piece out let's go that cb right there let me talk to you about what to do with that so hang on just a second okay kobe is trying to put that in it doesn't quite fit because it's it got bent in the molding process so here's what you do you warm up your stove you can do this one of two ways first of all you can put a pot of boiling water on there and stick it in there which will take two to three minutes to boil uh, the pipe and then it will be soft enough to mold or you can hold it directly over the stove don't touch it to the stove or else it'll melt the pipe rotate it a little bit and then try and put it in okay as soon as it's soft and pliable enough might not quite be ready right now okay goes in twist it around a little bit so it doesn't get stuck pull it out and now you got a perfect circle pipe ready to go don't play with it too much because it might be hot that took about 30 seconds to do so that's faster than boiling the water uh, much much better and quicker and will help you get that pipe fit okay here we go so he's going to put this pipe together he's going to show us how awesome he is and fit the pipe that's okay just bring it back the other way, Clay. Okay, just put that side on. Twist it up. Fits on perfectly. Way to go. And then connect it. Just push down. Push down on. Yep. Okay, just put it on Dutch again. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go and put the L's together. So the two lateral sides, we'll put those together. So let me show you what they'll look like. Uh, all the L pieces again are right here. There's two of each of them. And so you'll actually start, there's not an L1 because it doesn't continue to the one section. It starts uh, on the two sections. So uh, here we go. L2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, I think it goes to 9, I believe. So we'll get those two put together and catch up. sides put together mine is down here Kobe's is over there somewhere uh, here's what you do on the L's you got a T and then another T but this one's facing down and then you have a bunch of crosses so a cross between L3 and 4 cross between L4 and 5 between L5 and 6 between L6 and 7 between 7 and 8 that's a cross and then you got two T's at the end here you got uh, one that's going down between 8 and 9 and then one on the end there at the end of nine. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is line these up and start putting the ribs in place. Uh, again, some of the ribs may not quite fit together, so you just have to go bend those and form them as you need to uh, to get them to work. quick update uh, we're getting some of the ribs on there are a few you'll notice that have not been able to fit so Kobe is busy at work by the stove slaving over the stove um, getting these together so you may have noticed uh, I got confused or I actually skipped one of the joints so I had to pause a couple things to pay attention to uh, number one on the bottom of the joints on each of the ribs on the bottom you'll notice on uh, this one in particular right here You'll notice in all of them back there, the the joint or the pipe is bent in a way where there's a short side and a long side. The long side goes towards the ground to give the bottom of the kayak a little bit better base. So you'll want to make sure to to pay attention to that and don't put the the long side pointing up because number one it won't really fit and you'll have to force it. But number two, it will um, throw off the balance of the boat and it'll be top heavy instead of having the weight distributed along the bottom. Uh, second thing is on 
Number two, the second rib. You'll notice here RT2, which is supposed to be on the top, is actually on the bottom. Those are mislabeled. I apologize. You'll go have to go back and make sure the RT2 is on the bottom and RB2 is on the top. Confusing, I know. But we're just throwing that in there to keep you awake. Make sure you're watching the whole video. Just kidding, of course. Okay. We're busy bending pipe. We'll get the rest of the pipe for the ribs bent, and then we'll pick this back up when we attach the last part, which is the lengthwise pieces. Okay, here we go. We got all the pieces uh, bent and cooked so that we can fit the joints in there. This honestly was the longest, uh, hardest part of the whole project. Um, we had to pause the video for a few minutes. It took us about 15 or 20 minutes to go through and heat up the pieces that we need. Um, so now what we're going to do, we're going to uh, put the, the lateral pieces together. So let's do that. Here we go. Okay, what you'll notice here is it goes together mostly, but there are a couple parts when he tries to put it together. Uh, if he pushes in too much with one, with one joint, it pops out in another joint. So try and put that one together right there. Yeah. Uh, you know, you might look at this and think, how in the world that is too far apart to fit? These PVC pipes are somewhat flexible. Don't force it too much, but you can put a little bit of pressure on it uh, and force it into place. So use a little muscle. Um, it comes apart. I do have PVC glue that you can use. If you need some of it, feel free to get it uh, from me. But remember to keep it in sections right behind the, the CF and the, and the L4 and the D4 pipe. Um, and just glue that in together. Um, but again, don't worry about it not quite fitting together. Kobe's having a little bit of a challenge with the puzzle piece here. But uh, we can go through now and just glue individual pieces. But this is generally the structure and kind of what you're looking to do uh, tonight. Now, the one thing I will note here is these bottom R, B, one pieces are not quite bent right. They're off a little bit. You can see that uh, you don't want to force it too much. I'm going to probably uh, try and put that together. If it doesn't work, you can put those in the oven for just a minute and form them manually in place. And then the last piece here is the X piece. So let me pause this real quick and I'll talk about that. Okay, these are, the, these are the cross pieces that fit right uh, right there. You can see that little cross right in the middle of the screen. Um, these are all labeled, but to be honest with you, it doesn't matter what the, la what, the, um, what the lengthwise is. As long as you get a couple that are pretty similar, don't worry about the label. So these two can go together, um, get them as close as possible. Those ones are, are probably close enough. Um, those two and those two. So what you do here, Kobe, put these together. So put um, two of the longer ones on the, on the side piece, or put the pieces opposite each other. So take these two longer ones and put them with two shorter ones. So you have two long and two shorter ones together. And then put the short pieces opposite each other, the long pieces opposite each other, and then fit that in. Okay, put that right there on the cross. You shouldn't have to bend these because they're straight pieces. They didn't get in the oven at all. Um, and again, you can just, you just put that in just like that. Okay. And remember, we'll go through and glue a couple of these joints just so they stay in place uh, and bend those RB1 pieces. But other than that, we are good to go. We're ready to wrap. Okay. Here we are in the garage. Um, we're in the dark garage that I live with every day. I'm not as cool as Tom Proctor with his new LED lights in his garage, but hey, we do what we can here. So here's the deal. We're going to glue a couple of these pieces. We're going to keep it together uh, in this section. Let me show you how to glue real quick. So Kobe, grab one of the glue sticks. Glue sticks? The glue containers. Okay, here's what we're doing with this glue. There's a little dauber on the end of it. You go around, one time around the outside of the pipe that goes on the inside, 
and then one time around the inside of the joint and then stick them together. So that's pretty straightforward. So we're going to get to get to working on this and then we'll pick it up. <laughs> I broke this piece, I tried to force it, and it broke that uh, that joint off there. I think it'll still work, should be okay, but I just need to put this piece right here in the oven, get it more of a 90 degree angle. Uh, hopefully that'll work. Okay, here we go. This is the one we have built today. Kobe has done an amazing job, way to go. So, show, pull it apart and let's show them where it's broken up, but we did go through and glue several pieces on it. A little dark out, I apologize. Right. Try not to break stuff, it's all right. Okay, right there, right there. Right there, right there. So, there we go. This is perfect and ready to wrap. Ready to bring to Mutual or bring, we'll do these on a Saturday, so look for more information on that.